Hey guys, it's Anna and I thought I would do another one of my Trader Joe's shopping haul just because it's been so long since I've done it and I picked up some new things, some things that I haven't even tried before because I like to do that sometimes. So a lot of times before I go, I just check online, I just go Google. I Google new at Trader Joe's and you just look through the list you can see like all the new stuff that's there so I picked up some new stuff so I thought I would show you guys some of this stuff um, is normal stuff that I always get all the time and then there's some new stuff that I have to try still and it's gonna seem like a lot because I do buy a lot because I only like to go grocery shopping like once every month and a half which sounds crazy but a lot of it I throw in the freezer so that it lasts a lot longer but the less I have to go to the freaking grocery store, the better for my entire life. So yeah. So, ooh, I'm gonna start with what's just on top, and I forgot to take in my cold bags this time, like usual. It happened. So first I got this, it is just the multi-grain country bread. I always get this bread just because I find it lasts a long time, um, because I usually have just like two pieces of toast a day, so it just lasts me a while, so I always get this one. Then I got two of these like mixed lettuce bags. It is just the Sorrento mix. It's got baby arugula. It's the baby arugula blend with baby arugula, baby spinach, and baby lettuces. So just that one. I got two of these. These are the lettuce that I eat first because they go bad really fast. God damn. I need to reorganize my whole freezer. My hair is crazy. Then I got two of these guys. It is the linguine with pesto and tomatoes. This is so good. I got two of these because they're so good. It's nice to have like last minute stuff like this to keep in the freezer for when you run out of like all the fresh stuff. So I like having these. Then I got two things of salsa because I eat this like crack is the number one ingredient in it. So I got the Serrano salsa, the fresco, the green lid, and then I got the salsa especial. It's the medium one. I like both. Um, I was just lucky to get both of them today because usually they only have one or the other, but when they have both, I get one of each. This one has a bad one in it. But so I've been feeling kind of weird about my food lately and I've been thinking more and more and more that I really need to be buying certain things organic. Anyways, so I got the organic grape tomatoes. I was gonna get the regular ones like this, just the regular, regular grape tomatoes, but I was like, organic. Then I need to put the freezer stuff in there. So I usually, I've been getting sweet potatoes and then I haven't been eating them, so they've just been going bad, which is really bad of me and a waste of money. So I decided to just get sweet potato fries so that they're frozen and they can't go bad. And I feel like in fry form, I'll be more like wanting them. So more frozen. I tried these a while ago. It's the Hatch Chile Mac and Cheese. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. So good. Again, just like the other pastas. I used to be so against pasta, but lately I've just been going for it. So I like to have these. I eat all of like my fresh food first, and then I like to eat the stuff that's in the freezer. It just makes sense, right? Then I love these little snack packs just because they're easy, simple to just like take to work for like snacks and stuff. So it's just the Mediterranean hummus snack pack of pita chips. I got two of that, two of these, so four total. Then I got some more of these mini cinnamon sugar churros. These are so good. I actually got two bags of them this time, only because I had to ask the guy to grab it from the back and he had to bring out this whole box and he had to like dig for them. So I was like, I wasn't just gonna take home one. I was like, I need two, I guess. <laughs> so I got two of these. These are so good though. Yeah, no then a staple, I got two of the almond, what is this? Why does it say almond beverage? Isn't it just almond milk? But whatever, I get the vanilla and unsweetened. 
Yes, vanilla unsweetened almond milk. And I get two. And why do I get two, you ask? Because it's a ton of milk. Yeah, it is. But I like to pre-make a lot of my smoothies and just keep them frozen in the freezer. So I use all of that up so it's not really sitting in my fridge for too long. Then for some more greens, I always get spinach. I really should get organic spinach, but I don't know why I don't. Um, I just get the normal baby spinach. I always get like a lot of these. I usually get three bags. I should have probably gotten three. I got two. Usually these go straight to my freezer so that it doesn't go bad. Then I got some broccoli. I always cut up my broccoli and just throw it right in the freezer. I don't really keep this in my fridge, or at least I try really hard not to. And then I got the organic black bean rotini. I got these to try. I'm so excited to try them. They are organic. I think it's just black beans. Organic black bean flour is all it is. But so I got two bags of these because I really wanted to try them. I'm hoping I love it. And oh my gosh, I tried this. Number one ingredient is definitely crack in these. It is just the Wild King salmon jerky. So good. I had seen so many people buy this like all the time. And then I always look at the price when I got there and I'm just like, yeah, that ain't happening. But it's definitely worth the $6 that I paid for it. It is so good. I got two packs. Then I got some frozen raspberries, which are actually really thawing out, so throw these in the freezer. I got just one pack of frozen strawberries, because I already have a ton of strawberries. I just like having a lot because, like I said, I pre-make my smoothies, so I need a lot. And then these are literally my favorite thing, but I'm trying to cut down on cheese, and I didn't buy eggs at all this time, just because I've been thinking about eggs, and it's just been... I don't know. Just weird. So I only got one thing of cheese. I usually get two things of this cheese, and then the sharp cheddar string cheese, but this is all the cheese I got this time. I'm really proud of myself. I'm trying to slowly cut things, or just like lay off of something so much, so. And I got these little cans of black olives. They're just the sliced black olives. Got them. Oh, and to try, I got this too. It is the Moroccan style mint tea. I'm actually really excited to try this. It says kettle brewed on here. I think I might try it right now. I hope it's good. <laughs> if I can get it all open. We're gonna be super fancy right now. You better be good tea. And I read like online before I was buying before I was buying it. Before I bought it, um, I guess some people drink it like hot, like actual tea too. Hot tea, cool tea, iced tea. Okay, it smells like alcohol or something. It's okay. Mm. I feel like it would be really good mixed with like ginger ale. It's alright. Will I rebuy it? Nah, probably not. But it's always good to try new things. It's nice. And I'll drink it. So Trader Joe's too, they tell me this every so often, but you guys can buy whatever you want, try it, and if you don't like it, you can definitely take it back and get a full refund for it. But I just kind of feel bad sometimes taking stuff back. Unless it was something that was like super expensive from there. And I was just like gagging and I couldn't eat it. I would take it back. I think I can must have my makeup. Maybe. Then I got a thing of Granny Smith apples. I probably should have gotten organic apples. Didn't really think too much about that. But got those. Then I got two things of their organic avocados. Because they didn't have the regular avocados. And I always buy. I try to buy one that's more ripe than the other. So that they will last longer and then I put them in the fridge as soon as they really start getting soft. Cannot win. Can't win today. Another staple is this chocolate. It is just the fireworks chocolate bar. It's rich dark chocolate with a touch of heat and a popping sensation that will ignite your senses. This is so good. I keep it in my fridge and I try to keep it in the back so it's like hidden and so whenever I'm just like craving candy they're hidden in the back of the fridge. And I moved these chips back here and didn't even mention them. But I got the sweet potato tortilla chips. I always get two bags because I can just figure a bag for salsa bowl. So I got two. Oh, another staple that I always have to get. For a while though, I used to eat them too much and I had to stop eating them. But I got the chocolate chip brownie and oat bars. These are so amazing. You get, how many in here? 
think you get six bars in a box. These are so good. They're like $3 for six or something like that. I don't know. They're really inexpensive. But I got three whole boxes of these. That's how much I am obsessed with them. A ton of like the little fruit bars. I was just going to buy a whole box, but then I was like, wait, I want different flavors. So I got two of each flavor. So I got the apple banana fruit bar. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm actually kind of scared now that I think about it. But I've tried this one already. It's the apple strawberry. So good. So I got two of those. And then I got two of the apple mango. gucci -ness. And then I got two of the fruit bars. This is like, oh, with flax and chia seeds. I got two of these. I think I tried these before and I think I liked it. But I bought two anyways. And those are like 99 cents, so they're good. I got this lettuce. What kind of lettuce is this? I think it's iceberg lettuce, right? I usually get romaine hearts so that there's the three in the pack, but they didn't have any today, so I had to get this one. Then this is something new to try. It is the Thai sweet chili veggie burger. I got this to try, I'm really hoping that I like it and of course I didn't get any kind of bun or any kind of bread to eat this with so oops then <laughs> I got literally the last thing of hash browns that was sitting out there I had to ask them for because I couldn't even see it it was under everything so I got the last one of hash browns and then oh my gosh one of my all-time favorite things at least for right now this is so good it is oh I'm bending it it is just the um it says burrata prosciutto and arugula flatbread pizza Oh my god, it's so good. I'm like literally, I usually get three because I eat one like as soon as I come home. This is like my, I think everyone has that like food that when you come home after grocery shopping, it's the first thing you eat. This is it. This is gonna be dinner for tonight, so. And then I got two more. Another thing I'm obsessed with because I have a recipe that I make with it and I will post it as soon as I can. I think I'm gonna start doing like Trader Joe's like food recipe hacks, so let me, let me know if you guys want to see that because I definitely have filmed a couple already of like my favorite recipes that I make with just like random Trader Joe's finds. So I got these. This is the Southwestern style chicken poppers. Amazing. I literally got three boxes of these because I have it down to a science of a recipe with these because they're so good. I got something new to try also. It is just the lemon meringue tart. This thing better be good. It looks amazing. I'm hoping it's good. Better be good. Last but not least... I did this in a really on like anticlimactic order. But last but not least, I got two things of just the Greek yogurt. This is just the plain with whole milk. Is this the bad one to get? Maybe. I guess I should be getting, do they all come with milk? Might sound really dumb, but I will. But so I got two of these. Again, I put these in my smoothies so they don't like go bad sitting in the fridge. They're in my freezer in a smoothie form. So I got two. So that is everything that I got this time for my Trader Joe's shopping haul. Again, please let me know in the comments below or give this video a like if you guys want to see some of my kind of like Trader Joe's recipes, food hacks. I will definitely do that for you guys because I think I've got some pretty good recipes if I will say so myself. So let me know if you guys want to see them. Yeah, I'm going to go because now I need to organize my whole freezer because there's not enough room for anything and I need to eat. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. I had a whisper this whole time. Most awkward thing ever. Okay, bye.